Okay, today is Holy Friday. It's also called Good Friday. And we're actually gonna put our Jesus piece on the darkest circle because it was also a really sad day. So I also wonder why you think we call it good. So if you have an idea, how about you text me? Tell me why you think it was good. This story is called Jesus is Betrayed. I wonder what betrayed means. I think it means something like when somebody lets you down or maybe they told you they would do something and they didn't um, or someone you thought was really nice wasn't. So uh, this is about that. Jesus had a good friend named Peter. Remember we talked about Peter when washing when Jesus was washing his feet. Peter, who was there when Jesus healed people and made miracles happen. Jesus liked Peter so much that he gave Peter the nickname, The Rock. Jesus had another friend named Judas. Jesus, Peter, Judas, and the other disciples spent lots of time together. They were all together when Jesus told them about that his life was going to have to end. It was a sad and hard time for Jesus and his friends. Jesus felt so sad, he went to a quiet place in a garden and prayed. He prayed, please God, make me strong, help me trust you. Jesus asked the disciples to come to the garden and stay awake while he prayed, but they fell asleep. So we see Jesus praying and the disciples have fallen asleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Jesus told the disciples three times. When Jesus finished praying, it was time for them to go and face hard things. Even though Jesus had many friends, he had some bad enemies too. Some people were scared that Jesus would change the world too much with love. Judas got scared too. He let Jesus down. Judas told some of Jesus' enemies where Jesus was. When soldiers came to the garden, Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek to show them who they were looking for. The soldiers took Jesus away. Judas and Peter ran away and hid. They were so scared. So there are the guards. And there's Judas giving Jesus a kiss. Later, Peter waited outside the place where Jesus was on trial. A girl saw Peter and said, he's a friend of Jesus. He's in trouble too. Peter wanted to help his friend Jesus, but he was scared. So he pretended he didn't know Jesus. I, I, I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him, Peter said. His lie that made him feel even worse inside. Peter ran away again. He cried and cried. Peter felt so sad for Jesus. Peter felt very, very sorry. But Jesus knew that Peter loved him. Jesus knew that Peter was his friend. That's why he had given Peter such a special job. The rock became a strong leader in the church. He told many, many people about his best friend, Jesus. I know him, I know him, Peter told everyone. And that was the truth. So this was when Peter lied. And in the Bible, it'll say the cock crows when Jesus' friends would betray him. And now I'm going to tell you the second part of the story, which is the day Jesus died. It was a very sad day when Jesus died. The soldiers who had arrested Jesus teased him for pretending to be a king. They took his clothes and put on a king's purple cloak on him. They made him a crown of vines with sharp thorns and put it on Jesus' head. Ouch. The soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross. The cross was too heavy for him. Jesus fell and skinned his knees and the cross tumbled to the ground. A man in the crowd carried the cross the rest of the way. Mm, that looked hard. Sad. The soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. They raised Jesus up, Jesus' cross up on a hill between two other men. 
the other men were thieves, and that day they were being crucified too. One of the men was angry with Jesus. If you are a powerful king, can't you save yourself? Why don't you save us too? The man yelled at Jesus. But the other thief believed in Jesus. He shouted back, don't you know who this is? This is God's son. He hasn't done anything wrong. We are being punished for our mistakes, but Jesus shouldn't be here. The man turned to Jesus and asked, will you take me to heaven with you? Jesus looked at the man and loved him. Jesus told him, yes, today we will be in heaven together. So here's the bottom of the three crosses. And then here are the people watching and so sad about Jesus. After a while, the world grew very dark as if a terrible thunderstorm was coming. It was as if all creation was crying because Jesus was about to die. Jesus was feeling all alone and prayed to see if God was still there. Of course, God never left Jesus. God was with Jesus the whole time. Jesus looked at the crowd. He was so sad that people didn't believe he was God's son. He asked God to forgive them for killing him. The soldiers offered him some sour wine, but he didn't want to drink it. He was ready to die. Finally, Jesus had fought for long enough. He said, God, the work you gave me to do here is finished. He breathed a final, long, slow breath, and then he died. You see the crosses where Jesus and the thieves were. So today, I would like you to talk with people at your house about what is it that makes you sad? And what do you do when you're sad? And what helps you feel maybe better or comforted when you're sad. We'll see you tomorrow.